Hi, I'm Shopee from Learn Effects, and today I came up with this new After Effects tutorial on how to create this kind of animation for your logos using very simple tricks and without any plugin. Enjoy! First, let's start by importing our image or logo into After Effects. After that, we drag and drop into the composition icon to create a new composition based on the image imported image. Uh, in my case, I'll rename it source and I'll change the size to a square size by 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel. We'll adjust the size of the logo. And after that, we'll create again another composition based on the new composition. Let's rename it master and we'll keep the same size. Now we have our logo composition, the source composition, nested into our master composition. To prepare our composition to the coming step, we have to decompose our image into separate layers based on the different color present in the image or in the logo. To do that, I can key the desired color using the linear key effect. I will keep the original settings, but I will choose the black color as a first color and invert that or invert that result uh, with channel invert effect but don't forget to select alpha from the drop down menu as you can see we have the result with the black uh, color selected as main layer now what i have to do is to duplicate the same layer and each time i have to select a different color here for example i select the yellow and every time i have the desired color or the selected color uh, separate in one different layer. During this uh, operation make sure to choose the right color uh, every time so you can have the color and all the details. That will be very important later when we're creating uh, the final effect. We finish uh, our operation by selecting the green color as the fifth layer. Now we have five layers, every layer with a different color. Next we'll go one step forward, we select all the layers and using layer auto trace we will try to keep the same settings, the original settings, and just be careful to have the alpha selected and to create a new layer for the masks that we need to create from the color shapes that we have in the original layers. As you can see, I have the first one, the black, and the second layer is the yellow, and so on. Now it's time for the most important uh, step. For that we select or we isolate uh, the layer, we start with a black uh, surface, as you can see here, we isolated the layer and then we'll apply our uh, effect, scribble effect, it's generate scribble. This effect creates a sort of patch uh, that will be similar to the, um, to the embroidery effect and uh, we can play with the setting here single mask, but as we, you know we have multiple masks so we'll use all masks but as you can see here all the hatches are overlapping for that the best setting is to select all masks using modes that will create this kind of uh, embroidery effect on the surface covered by the black color now we'll adapt that color for example we'll choose the dark gray color to imitate the color of the thread here everything looks nice perfect Maybe we can adjust some settings in, the, uh, for example, in the stroke options for the curves. Maybe here we can adapt maybe the overlapping zero so we can have it perfect. But maybe we'll add a little bit of randomness to that. So I think based on the composition size, it will be nice. Uh, we should notice that this effect is by default animated. It, there is a sort of uh, wiggle, it's a wiggling effect. 
So to remove that uh, undesired effect, uh, we have to uh, decrease uh, the wiggle uh, parameter to zero. And after that, we'll start by creating our animation uh, adapted to our desired effect. So we'll create a keyframe in the starting of the timeline with uh, end value zero. And after, for example, five seconds, we will make it 100%. And if you can preview the effect, you will have a sort of uh, embroidery uh, effect operation done on our uh, image based on the selected shape. Feel free now to modify the animation evolution of the embroidery operation. So for that you have to work on the keyframes. For me here I will uh, press the U key and we'll find a lot of keyframes. They were created during the auto trace operation. You can remove that delete those keyframes and uh, come back to the desired keyframes of the animation evolution. For the first keyframe you can uh, set uh, the ease out using Ctrl Shift F9 and the last keyframe Shift F9 ease uh, in. Now you can copy the same scribble, it's ready, the same scribble effect and apply it to all the remaining uh, layers. Just be careful, you have the slider on the timeline on the first frame, so you can have all the animations synced out. You start the second layer, is the yellow, as you remember, we choose the yellow color. The third layer is the red color. And feel free to choose the color you want. Here, for example, the fourth will be the white, and the last one is the green. As a result, we have our logo created with a scribble effect imitating or similar to the embroidery uh, effect. Now it's time for the final step and we'll try to create uh, an output composition. To do that, we go to our master composition, drag and drop it into the icon of the new composition. To create a new composition, we can modify the size or the name to make it output the size now is uh, an HD size will be fine 10 seconds duration and we'll try to inspect our uh, composition and we can modify uh, the scale of the master uh, nested composition and we create a background here I'll create a red color background behind our and place it behind our uh, embroidery masterpiece just we have what we have to do now is to modify the the effect the nested composition to create a little bit of realism to add a bevel uh, alpha effect and you can adjust the setting by increasing the light intensity yeah it's starting looking nice and to add uh, a perspective drop shadow effect as it it is sticking to the cloth surface. We can adjust the setting as desired. That looks nice. Now it's time to work more on the background, on the red cloth. To simulate the cloth texture, we can add apply an effect uh, CC thread and uh, decrease all the setting 3 3 width and height and we have that amazing texture what we'll do now is to add a little bit of irregularity so we will increase the texture uh, effect maybe we can enhance the look of our composition for example here by creating like a 3d environment to do that both layers there will be uh, 3d and we'll create a new camera and we keep the setting for example 35 millimeters and we can uh, navigate to the corner to have more details about the embroidery effect 
to enhance the realism of uh, that maybe we'll have to adjust a little bit of the settings I will decrease here the light intensity and the bevel effect here we are reaching the end of this After Effects tutorial. I hope you enjoyed your time learning new tricks, new After Effects tricks. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you want. I will be more than happy to answer to your questions. Bye!